Hey gang, Coach Tim here. And uh, one of the most common questions that we, we receive is something along the lines of, is this food good or bad? Should I eat this or should I not eat this? Is it healthy or not healthy? And over, over time, one of those that we've heard often is, is about corn. And over the years, it seems like corn has kind of gained a reputation as being bad or evil. And um, we just want to address that today and see if that's really the case or if that's been misconstrued. So let's start by talking about some of the factors that might have uh, come up to, to lead to that conclusion for some people. For starters, corn is not a vegetable, it's actually a grain, and there are certain dietary camps that, that would suggest that we should avoid grains, um, like for instance the paleo crowd. Uh, secondly, corn contains carbs, it's like a carb food, and, and certainly there's people that suggest that we should, we should limit carbs, and, and absolutely that has application in certain instances, um, whether that's a recommendation across the board or not, that, that's um, beyond this discussion. Um, now, one, one factor that's probably the, the most prevalent is that 90% of the corn grown in the United States is actually genetically modified. So um, that's a complex, controversial topic that we're not going to get into, but for many people that can put, put foods off limits. Um, however, it's important to point out that um, whole corn, whole grain corn that you'd eat, corn on the cob or frozen corn or something like that is um, very, very rarely is that uh, genetically modified. That sweet corn, uh, only a tiny percentage is, is GMO. So um, that genetically engineered corn, which is called field corn, typically goes to feeding animals um, and creating biofuels. And it's also used heavily for corn derived ingredients such as uh, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, corn oil, corn starch, maltodextrin. Um, even as a source for, for alcohol fermentation. So that is probably the biggest reason why corn has gained a bad rap is because of these corn-derived ingredients that are featured heavily in processed refined foods, which uh, have deservedly come under intense scrutiny over the years as leading to things like obesity, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and so on. Uh, however, whole grain corn, like corn on the cob, for example, sweet corn, is a completely different food than those so-called processed foods. Um, for instance, whole grain sweet corn is packed with vitamins like A, C, E, and K, as long with several B vitamins that are important for hair, skin, nail health, as well, well as heart health and brain health, uh, and also digestive health. Um, in addition, corn, uh, this whole grain sweet corn is packed with antioxidants, these phytonutrient antioxidants such as carotenoids and phytosterols. And phytosterols, for instance, have numerous health benefits. The most notable is having a cholesterol lowering effect. Among the carotenoids in corn is lutein and zeaxanthin, which are very important for heart health, brain health, and eye health. In fact, um, some would refer to them as natural sunglasses. In addition, corn also contains resistant starch. We've talked about resistant starch several times before. It's a very t special type of starch that doesn't get digested, doesn't get um, digested in the small intestine, actually travels on large intestine where it feeds the good bacteria of our gut. Um, and we know from studies that resistant starch can improve insulin sensitivity and reduce appetite, can um, improve weight loss outcomes, so greater fat loss and, and many health benefits associated with resistant starch. And also, Corn, uh, a single ear of corn on the cob has about three grams of fiber. And as you've heard me talk about before, most people don't consume nearly enough fiber. So even though it's a very modest amount, it's a step in the right direction for most people. And consuming enough fiber has been tied to heart health, digestive health, glycemic control, and weight management. So overall, the point is, is that whole grain sweet corn can be included as part of an overall healthy diet, of course, if it fits into what your, um, what your beliefs are. Um, and whole grain sweet corn is completely different than what you might find um, in the types of foods that you might find these corn-derived ingredients in. So I hope that you find this helpful, and if you have questions about other types of foods or ingredients that you're not sure if they're good or bad, healthy or not healthy, just drop us a note in the comments, and, and we'll be sure to tackle those for you as well. So thanks and have a great day.